This is Dr. Kevin of I Associates of South Texas. I'm going to show you a case here of a standard cataract extraction with intraocular lens implantation. We're going to implant a Symphony depth of focus lens by Johnson & Johnson Vision. You can see we make our typical sideboard incision with a uh, MVR type blade. Uh, we hold the uh, eye through the paracentesis and make a 2.8 millimeter clear cornea incision with a keratome temporally um, keeping the wound peripheral with a uh, uh, usually a one and a half to two millimeter tunnel. You can see that we fill the anterior chamber up with a dispersive viscoelastic to keep space and then we will perform our typical capsulorexis trying to keep it approximately five millimeters so we can complete the uh, surround the anterior surface of the symphony and trochlear lens with the anterior capsule. After the capsule rexus is completed, we perform hydro dissection that's injecting salt water underneath the anterior capsule to free the capsular contents, which is the cataract, and make sure we can rotate it freely. We use a modified Akahoshi pre-chopper to break the cataract into four pieces as you can see here. We turn the nucleus with the pre-chopper and again we chop it into four pieces sort of uh, forming a cross uh, making four equal pieces. We're going to use the Alcon uh, Centurion fake emulsification machine in this case and uh, remove each of the pieces of the cataract with a burst mode. Uh, this will use little bursts of ultrasound energy to grab the piece of the cataract as you can see there and it will be sucked up into that uh, tube in the fake emulsifier and broken into little pieces. You can see we've taken the second piece um, out very quickly using the fake emulsifier. This leaves us with a hemi nucleus or half the cataract to remove. We again remove this in burst mode and you can see the piece of the cataract comes up very quickly. In fact, both the uh, third and fourth pieces are still attached and they come out as a unit. You can see we're left here with the last piece of the cataract and we emulsify this very quickly using uh, the burst mode and the high vacuum. After removal of the uh, nucleus of the cataract, we're left with the cortex, which is the surrounding um, layer, and we'll remove this with a new irrigation aspiration tip I've been trying lately uh, called a polymer uh, tip. This is one made by Alcon. I use sometimes instead of a silicone or steel tip, and it's uh, fairly easy to remove the uh, cortical remnants, as you can see here and it's easy to get the sub-incisional cortex. These are disposable um, and in my hand seem to work as well as the silicone tip or steel tip. This leaves us with these little capsular strands on the posterior capsule which we'll remove with uh, balanced salt solution here just kind of hydro dissecting them off the posterior capsule. This is easy um, and safe and I've used this now in probably 3,000 cases without uh, any capsular rupture. We fill up the anterior chamber in the capsular bag with a cohesive viscoelastic and we inject in the new AMO symphony lens into the capsular bag um, using uh, an injector and cartridge and you can see that the intraocular lens delivers straight into the capsular bag. We make sure that the trailing optic and haptic are under the anterior capsule as if they are above the uh, anterior capsule this will cause a pigment dispersion syndrome uh, with the haptic or optic rubbing against the peripheral iris. You can see that we hydrodice, we can um, hydrate the wounds with balanced salt solution and a 27 gauge cannula. Now we're going to remove the uh, viscoelastic that is uh, in the uh, anterior chamber and behind the posterior capsule lens. It's important to remove the viscoelastic behind the intraocular lens as this gives the symphony lens uh, or any intraocular lens um, 
a much more stable foundation to scar into place. You can see here we are blotting or pushing down on the poster uh, capsule uh, and posterior chambered implant to remove that viscoelastic sandwich between the two layers. You can see here we hydrate the wound again. We want to check centration of the intraocular lens. It's important uh, to make sure this is well centered even though the symphony depth of focus lens is more forgiving on decentration than other multifocal lenses. It's important to have it well centered. And you can see here looking at the images of the microscope lights it is perfectly centered. Thank you for your attention. This is Dr. Cavanaugh by Associates of South Texas.